Hello, my name's Mel. Welcome to my world. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm currently turning this Mercedes Sprinter into an off grid, go anywhere, sleep absolutely anywhere, kind of stealthy camper van. And today I'm going to answer some questions up because my last video I spoke about my cubic mini wood stove and I was inundated with people saying, Mel, you're going to burn your van to the ground, you're going to die, you're going to suffocate, the stove's going to suck all the oxygen out of your van, and you're going <laughs> to. It's suicidal fitting a wood burner in your van. There's going to be smoke pouring out the chimney. It's not very stealthy. So, uh, for those of you that think I'm crazy, this video is for you. As you can see now, I've had my burner going now for a good four hours. In fact, I actually lit this and then I started fitting my diesel heater, which I've done. In the time I've fitted my diesel heater, I've kept this burning all the time just to see how hot it actually get, gets. So what I've done, I've made a mock-up of my half that I've built inside the van. I've got my um, slab of fireproof plasterboard at the bottom sitting on top of my plywood which represents the base and as you can see I've also got a nice bit of recycled aluminium checkered plate as well which the fire is going to sit on and that's actually going to bump to this and I've also made a checkered plate backboard and look I'm touching this this is how hot it's got right I'm actually, and this has been going for at least around about three and a half hours now the flu somebody asked me or quite a few people asked me is the flu double lined yes it is it's a double lined flu um, and the top part here this is insulated now look at this this has been going like I say, I've been so for a good three, four hours, right? That's how hot it gets. And I can actually get my hands and let me move you around here. I'm doing this all in one go so you can see I'm not telling fibs. That's how much smoke is coming out of the top. And I can actually put my hands up under there. Look, that's how hot it gets. Because this part is insulated. Inside there there's insulation, right? I mean, it's warm. Okay, I can keep my hand on there, yeah, even at the top. I mean, it's very warm up under there, but it's not burning me. I mean, Dan, oh, yeah, there I can't quite touch because of the heat of this. I mean, I wouldn't dare touch that. This part of the flue is it's not insulated, it's double wall, but it's not insulated, so I'm not touching that. <laughs> you don't know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, hang on, Mel, it's not even lit. Hang on, take a look at this. Oh yes it is. <laughs> it's smouldering away lovely. Now, uh, so hopefully, hopefully, just a bit of luck, that will put everyone's mind at rest. I'm not going to set light to my van, I'm not going to suffocate. Um, I am going to have adequate ventilation in the van at the end of the day. Somebody else said it's going to suck all the oxygen out of the van. Well, it won't because I've got a roof vent going in, and that roof vent is permanently vented. I can't close it down. I'm using a Fiamma um, turbo roof vent, and uh, I'll go into that more when I actually fit it. But it is permanently vented. Even when the lid is closed, it can still vent inside. So even with that roof vent shut, it's, I'm still going to have adequate ventilation to allow this to breathe, to suck oxygen, because they do, they suck oxygen up from underneath, it burns it, throws it out the top. So let's put some more wood on the fire, because it looks like it's going to go out soon. Let me bag of off cuts. Just to show you that it is actually lit, there you go. For those people that think I'm cheating. Now the other comment people have made is um, it's not going to be very stealthy having a wood burner, smoke's going to come out the top of your van, that's not very stealthy. Well, I'm not going to use it during the day, I will only use this at night if I'm going to use it at all, it'll be at night time. During the day, if I'm in the van, I'll have the diesel heater running. So I'm going to let this burn now for another couple of hours, let it get nice and warm, just to make sure I'm going to keep it fully stoked and I'm going to open these up totally unchoked, let it go full blast for at least 
another two hours just to make sure just to be on the safe side worst case scenario get it going keep feeding it and get the flames going really hot and just burn it flat out um, maybe not two hours maybe an hour just to see how hot it actually gets but to be honest I don't think it's gonna be that much of a drama <laughs> it's pucker it's so well insulated inside remember it's got fire bricks in there as well all the way around it most of the heat comes out the front like it should so uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna let it burn for at least another hour a full blast see how warm it gets and then once it's cooled down and I'm satisfied it's safe I'm gonna fit it in the van stick around so I've had it going now for at least another two hours just take a look at this look at that and it's roasting away lovely and still I can touch the bottom of this I can still touch the back of there my tiles at the back they're not even warm they're actually cold to touch so this heat shield I mean I can still touch it look I don't think I've got anything to worry about look at this just to prove a point I can even touch this still even right up there down there is a little bit too warm but up here no problem and this is where all my insulation in my ceiling is going to be around this it won't be around it I'll cut it away from it obviously I really don't think I've got anything to worry about when it comes to fitting this stove the way I've got it set up I don't think it's going to be an issue I really don't Look at that. I can even put my hand under there still and this has been going now for five hours at least five hours this has been going for I'll just take you around the side so you can see what I mean about the tiles around the back. Just take a look at this. Oops, what a box. So what I've done, I've made a mock-up of my back wall, my bulkhead. I've got my tiles, my insulation board, and obviously that's my plywood, my bulkhead. <laughs> that, that is not warm at all. Actually, that is cold to touch. This, on the other hand, actually, look... <laughs> And that's been going now for like I say five hours this has been burning um, I don't think I've got anything to worry about at all so now all I've got to do is bring you back around here Oops. so now that all that's left for me to do is wait for this to cool down which is probably going to be tomorrow now and then I can actually start fitting it in my van